class. This is your host, Teddy Worldsvelt, and today on Rough Rider Americana, we are going to cover the buffalo, also known as the American bison. As someone who has seen the buffalo, I can tell you that they are amazing and majestic creatures, and they help personify what it is to be an American. The closest living relative of the American bison is the European bison. Both animals are extremely large and travel in herds. Now, one thing you need to know about the buffalo is that they are very large. The American bison is the largest mammal in North America. It can grow up to 11 and a half feet long. That is 3.5 meters from its head to its behind. And even its tail adds an extra 20 to 23.5 inches. They can weigh up to 930 to 2,200 pounds or 420 to 998 kilograms. That is a massive animal, a very massive animal. The buffalo live on the Great Plains of North America, a vast stretch of grassland running north to south. The Great Plains are a perfect place for buffalo to live because buffalo eat grass. The Native Americans first hunted the buffalo by wearing wolf skins because buffalo aren't afraid of wolves. They would put on a wolf hide and crawl up to the buffalo close enough to where they could shoot their bows and arrows at the buffalo. Or they would run the buffalo off cliffs. Eventually, the Native Americans would get the horse from Spanish explorers. The Native Americans who lived on the Great Plains quickly learned how to ride the horse and began using the horse and hunting the buffalo. Now, you may ask, why did the Native Americans hunt the buffalo? The answer is, is because the Native Americans used every part of the buffalo. They didn't just eat the meat. They used the skins for clothing. They used the horns and bones for tools and weapons. There were 50 to 60 million buffalo in North America in the year 1800. Just think of that, 50 to 60 million of these very large animals traveling across the plains. From the mid 19th century to the end of the 19th century, or the 1800s, as they're also known as, an estimated 200,000 buffalo were killed every year. American settlers hunted the buffalo to hurt the Native Americans and to sell buffalo skins. By the end of the 19th century, or 1800s, only 300 buffalo were left in the wild. Imagine that, from 60 million to only 300. You can see how much the buffalo population had been decimated. Today, there are 500,000 buffalo in the United States. You can see they have made a significant recovery, but nothing as they once were. Recovery efforts championed by both the United States government and Native American tribes help preserve the buffalo population today so that future generations can see these majestic animals. The buffalo have come to symbolize the strength of the United States. As you can see here, both the state of Wyoming and the Federal Department of the Interior 
use the buffalo as their symbol for the strength that lies within the United States and the state of Wyoming. Thank you for watching. Looking forward to seeing you again. I have been your host, Teddy Worldsvelt.